Hey guys, uh, Professor George Ramirez from Carlson Gracie Brawley. I'm here with Andrew Ramirez. And uh, today I wanted to show uh, one of the basic techniques from the guard. Uh, it's called the scissor sweep. Later videos, I'm gonna show different uh, scenarios where you may have to use a little bit of a different technique in order to complete your scissor sweep. Because not every scenario is gonna be the same, okay? So we're gonna start with Andrew and my guard. Okay, so we're here in the guard. He has good posture. I have my guard closed. I need to make a grip so I can open this lapel. If he has good posture, I have to break down his grip. I can do, I can do that a number of ways. Okay, I can use the sleeves, pull them in. If he has good posture, he's stiff arming, that may not work right away, right? But I have the closed guard, so I can use my legs. My legs are stronger than his upper body. I'm gonna just bring my knees in. Very simple. Once I get to this position, and I have the, the lapel, I wanna open it. All I'm doing is turning it to the outside, sinking four fingers deep, okay? I don't want a shallow grip. I want to be able to like almost touch the tag, the, the um, tag on the inside of his gi, okay? And kind of curl my fingers in. So the blade of my, my wrist is resting on his neck. This, if you can master this grip, this is gonna set you up for success for so many other submissions, okay? So once I have this grip, I want to keep this punch grip or pistol grip it's up to you, whichever you like, okay? So now all I'm gonna do is drop my right foot because I wanna sweep them to my left. I'm gonna drop my right foot, but I'm not gonna drop this leg or else he might just jump over my guard. If I drop this leg, he can easily pass my guard, okay? So again, all I'm doing is dropping one here. This foot is gonna allow me to hip escape just enough to slide this knee across his chest here. But as I slide that knee, two things need to happen. The knee needs to slide, and I also need to come up to my elbow here. My knee's across his chest. Right now, my leg is kind of resting on his lap. My foot on this side is hooked on his hip, and my foot on this side needs to stay connected to the hip. Come around this side. This foot needs to stay connected to the hip throughout the sweep, okay? So come back. We're here. All I have to do to finish the sweep, make enough space to drop this leg, okay? And when I drop this leg, my legs are moving in a scissor action. So they're gonna move in a scissor motion, just like this. Here, keeping the grips, scissor, scissor, scissor. This foot, remember I said, stays connected to the hip. That way you can slide right into the full mount position. Okay, come back. Common mistake. Common mistake that happens when people make, uh, do this scissor sweep. They go here, here, and then they let go of this foot on the hip. As they sweep, they end up here, they end up in half guard, or their opponent comes up. Okay, it's very important for you to Maintain contact with this uh, with this ankle on the hip throughout the sweep. Okay, this is a basic scissor sweep from the closed guard position. How's it going, guys? Professor George Ramirez here at Carlson Gracie Brawley. In the previous video, we covered a scissor sweep from the closed guard, a very basic move. Uh, we're gonna just cover it one more time just so you can see what we're talking about. Uh, in that scenario, our opponent was easy to sweep from a basic uh, position inside of the guard, okay? So here we go. So we have the basic scissor sweep that we discussed in the previous video here. Then we go to sweep, okay? So in this scenario, my opponent trains jujitsu, right? So he's aware of this sweep that's about to happen. So instead of allowing me to just sweep him, he's heavy, he sits, his base is super heavy, okay? So now, it's very important that I keep this elbow and this knee connected, okay? Because since he has a heavy base, I need to get his base up to make him light. 
so I can sweep them pretty easily. What I'm doing is bringing my knee to my chest, and then this elbow is just laying back, raising him off of his base, okay? If I can manage to raise him off of his base, this sweep is going to be super easy. I just keep him here close, sweep the legs out, then I'm here. This works particularly well with people that have a really good established base. Again, we open, we go to sweep, he has a good base, I can't get the leverage to finish, so now, instead of staying on my elbow, I'm laying back, raising him up, and he should feel super light when we finish that sweep. How's it going guys? Professor George Ramirez here at Carlson Gracie Broly. I'm here with Andrew Ramirez. On the previous videos, we covered the basic scissor sweep. What do we do if my opponent has a really good base? Uh, so we had a different uh, scenario or a different technique for that. Um, but still going with, with the same family of the scissor sweep, right? And now we, we have a different scenario that we're going to discuss. So let's cover the first two first. That way we can catch you up if you didn't see the previous ones. And then we'll move on to the third, okay? So first one, we need to open, sink our grip, establish a punch grip or pistol grip, whichever you prefer. And we sweep, okay? If you want to see all the mechanics, uh, take a look at the previous videos, okay? So on the second sweep, we were able to sweep him the first time, but now he has a heavy base. Second sweep, we had to get him off of his base by laying back and raising his hips and then finishing the sweep here, okay? On this third scenario, I try to sweep him here. It's not happening. I try to raise him up, super heavy base, or maybe my opponent is a bigger guy and I just cannot, cannot manage to raise him up off of his base. So the next best thing, this elbow here, I'm gonna walk back with this elbow, walk, move my hip, just enough to put my foot on the top of his knee. If I need to, need to do it twice, I do it twice. I move just enough to get in position. Didn't let go of any of the grips. So now all I'm gonna do is push this knee out as I'm pulling him. In essence, what I'm doing is I'm making him lay flat. So I'm gonna pull his arm as I push his knee, and then I guide him with this leg here, right into position, okay? So one more time, got my grips. I'm in the classic scissor sweep position. I cannot sweep him, cannot lift his base. All right guys, hopefully this helps uh, you obtain that scissor sweep. We don't want to give up on a position. Sometimes it's better to move on to the next position. But in this case, you have options to finish the scissor sweep. Thank you.